Today marks the third day of Kaiser Permanente employees on the picket lines. Welcome to the four. I'm Heather Myers. I'm Carlo Cicchetto with more than 75,000 workers out. This is the largest health care strike in U.S. history. The union coalition is demanding better pay and benefits as well as more staffing. CBS 8's Abby Black live outside the Kaiser Permanente Zion Medical Center with the latest. Abby. Heather and Carla, we've seen a constant flow of people here on the picket lines. Again, we are now in day three. They've been negotiating a contract for six months, but it expired on Saturday. The strike will end tomorrow morning, but union officials say it's possible that they will issue a 10 day strike notice. We want a contract. Chance war outside Kaiser Permanente Zion Medical Center. Thousands of Kaiser Permanente healthcare workers from across the country are on their third day of this historic strike. Put the blame on Kaiser. We are doing our part. Carrying their handmade signs, these are x-ray technicians, licensed vocational nurses, ER and radiology techs, along with hundreds of other positions. Echo stenographer Diana Duran has worked for Kaiser for 18 years. We've been understaffed, we're overworked, and we just need a contract. We need a contract now. Workers say that they are fighting against outsourcing jobs. They want better pay, benefits, and more staffing. John Kent works in registration and says equipment and software needs to be updated to provide better patient care. In our department alone, our equipment's like every day we have probably 30% of our, 20% of our you know, equipment's failure. And then we're just kind of like fixing it and or having to call IT or things like that. And that slows us down. And that also brings a lot of stress on our staff uh, because that hold up when that happens, now we're holding up a doctor, we're holding up a nurse because they're like, are you done? Are you done? We need to get this patient moving. Katie Little says morale is the worst that she's felt in her 25 years at Kaiser and hopes a fair contract is reached soon. I just hope that the patient care will be better. They'll hire more people um, and that they can just give us what we deserve because we work really hard here. A spokesperson for Kaiser says that we look forward to reaching a new agreement that continues to provide our employees with market leading wages and benefits and ensures that our high quality care is affordable and available to meet our members needs. Now both sides continue to meet but the next large in person bargaining meeting is scheduled for next Thursday. Carlo and Heather. So Abby, who's filling in for the people who are on strike right now and how much is this impacting the patients? Carlo, it really depends on who you talk to. Kaiser says that this impact is minimal. They say that they're still able to provide a high level of care. And while some of these lab service departments might be closed, those people are being referred to other locations. Now, for those that are on the picket lines, they say, again, these outsourcing jobs, these are people that have little experience. So they say, and they say that that impacts patient care. Abby Black reporting live. Abby, thank you. Hopefully we get this resolved quickly. Yeah.